It's that time. <laughs> it's that time. Hold it up. I have a request. What is that? I'd like us to go and sit in somebody else's campsite and eat these so we don't smell up our campsite. Well, how about we go sit out in front and eat them? Yeah, they're not getting eaten inside. Time for Keto Camping Fear Factor, Episode 6. Are you ready to do this? No. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. We also eat disgusting things. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Pushing it away is not going to fix this situation. It works for the cats. Welcome to Keto Camping Fear Factor, Episode 6. six. And this is the episode that I am not looking forward to eating. I was excited to be past this episode. Like on episode seven, we will have like the little notch in our belt that says, we did this, we ate this thing. Right. But here we are at the top of the roller coaster ride and it's time to get in your cart and I'm not excited about that. So if you're new to our channel, we came up with this ridiculously stupid idea. It seems stupider in moments like these. like Of it, eating different types of products. Now it started out with, they had to be foods that were only available in the zombie apocalypse. Like, yeah. right, no refrigeration. But we've moved past that now to any type of keto friendly item that's kind of out there. Something that, I don't know, is a hundred year old. Sometimes we find a pleasant surprise. The spam was a pleasant surprise. Yes. On our search for things, we find things like this. Like, I think this will be okay. Like, I think this may be something we enjoy at a later date. But, yeah, sometimes we come across this, and I'm pretty sure this is going to suck, and I have a feeling I'm about to get confirmed. Okay, so if you have anything that you think that we should try on a Keto Camping Fear Factor, there is an address down below. And you can go ahead and send that to us. Uh, if it's something that you're shipping in ice, please give us a heads up that it's coming because sometimes we don't get to our mailbox right away. Um, but yeah, are you? So I actually brought two things. We, we, we do three things, but I brought this one out because I'm going to need something to wash immediately. This down with. Like we won't be able to go on with our day, I don't think. So this was sent to us by one of our subscribers who we do not know. They they do not want to announce themselves who sent this. Anonymous to us. on purpose, for sure. So these are preserved duck eggs. What's funny is it has an expiration date. Chinese century eggs that expire April 9th of 2021. Oh my gosh, it smells oh my gosh. ready. Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, and they're wrapped in everything. They would have to be. Where is the Redmond's? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're, oh my gosh. It's black on the inside. Oh my gosh. Five things. <laughs> no. <laughs> this one had a break in it. Oh dear God. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I was going to say, don't nod, drop that. Oh, my gosh. It's got a break in it. Ooh, we're we're like, going to go with this one. It's black and oozy. Are you ready? Oh, my. I don't know if I can do this. Can I feel it? I don't know if I can do this. We've refrigerated it. It's speckled. I don't know if I can do this. We could do it. Oh, our hands full. Oh, they smell really farty now. By the way, we are in, where are we? Mayaka. Mayaka State Park here in Florida. We're going to need somebody to come find us after we eat this, I have a feeling. Oh. Oh, yeah. We did not want to eat this inside of our camper. Holy crap. It's black. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to hold that up to the camera. They gotta get a good look at that. 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh look, it's got like starbursts. It's got a starburst. Can you guys see that? Oh my lord. Can you see that? What is that? How much of this do we have to eat? I'm I'm a bite. A bite. Oh my it's, oh. it won't even break. It's like it's like a super ball. Uh, oh my gosh. It's happy fun oh, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to bounce it. Oh my gosh. Do you need a knife? Oh. 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 oh that doesn't look right. Oh, that doesn't look right. Here, that one's bigger. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my gosh. It smells so bad. Oh, why are we doing this? Oh, it smells so bad. Why are so we doing bad. this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And the worst part. Uh, well, why do I keep smelling it? Stop smelling it. <laughs> I, I can't even chew it. Because. It I like decided to give my teeth a deep clean and left them at home because if you're new to our channel, I have removable dentures. I, well, I don't think you're going to need them. And I feel like I wish I could take my teeth out and my tongue right now. Okay. And I think it. Dink. <sighs> <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this. Okay, I'm literally shaking. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, it surprisingly tastes like a regular egg. No. It does. No. Come on. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. It's I, just not bad. You are not hanging out with me in, in the zombie apocalypse. You have to eat the rest. Oh, no. You have to eat the rest. Mm -mm. Come on, that's the deal. You have to eat the rest. Mm -mm. You spit out the last one. Mm -mm. The, the last fear factor. It is so cute that, like, you're in charge of my deal, but, like, you're not in charge of my deal. Like, <laughs> ew. Ew. Here's the thing. Mm. I don't... Well, here, here's more. You have five more if you'd like to eat them. I'm not going that far. It's like... It's super sulfur-y. It's like very, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that I was going to throw up on That's contact. That's my point. Like, honestly, the yolk tastes like a regular yolk. No. The outside is kind of weird. It's, it's like, like a weird consistency. It's very gummy, like a gummy bear. Yeah. Consistency is what's happened to the, 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 the white part. Mm-hmm. But it tastes like it was absolutely boiled in sulfur water. Like, if you had really bad well water, and I am super yucked out by well water that is like real sulfur-y right and it, that's what it tastes like but my point is the inside yolk tastes like a very yolky yolk does that make sense like a yolky yolk like you think about yolk like you're saying yolk the yolk is what brings all that sulfur taste and smell but it's not horrible it, you can still taste that this is an egg this yolk. Was an i egg. was expecting it to be just like a disgusting nonsense. It was. It just pretty rough though. It tastes like a very eggy egg. Like sometimes you get eggs and you're like they're very bland. These this were was not bland. No, I mean, I've never had a duck egg, so I don't know. It's like, not like that. I'm sure. I don't know how close to the taste of a fresh duck egg that oh, is. There's such a farty aftertaste. But in my maybe mouth right regular now. duck eggs are that way. You know, we're used to chicken eggs. Look. Well, here's oh, I'm the, opening this and here's the thing. See what it is. The 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 yolk part of it, because it's a richer taste to it, and you know, like it's a, very rich. Then the the real concentration of the flavor is there in that yolk. So there's like a creamy taste. Yeah. With sulfur. Yeah, but I mean, it's so you would eat it in a zombie apocalypse. In a, I was gonna say, I think in a zombie apocalypse. No. I could eat this over eating you. I feel like I would just eat you anyway because <laughs> fresher meats. That, okay. that looks like what your skin turns into in a, zombie, in a apoc zombie apocalypse. Yes. So now that we've eaten it, can whoever sent this to us please come forward so we can thank you properly? Yes, because it wasn't as bad as we thought. Okay, number two. Big Mama. We found these in Walmart. Oh, no, I'm burping it. Where did we found these when we went to Korshan State Park yes. in a Walmart. It's a Big Mama. Big Mama. Pickled, pickled sausage. sausage. The ingredients in this are, are you ready for this? Yes. It's a science experiment. Uh-oh. Mechanically separated chicken, pork, soy protein concentrate, salt, flavoring, 
contains less than 2% of corn syrup solids, beef, pepper, less than 2% of beef. Less than 2% of beef. Paprika, sodium erythromate, sodium nitrate, red dye number 40. Why do we have to put red dye in a pickled thing? Maybe because the mixture looked together looks like a weird sausage. It's pickled in vinegar, water, salt, and red dye number 40 again. I think for pickled sausage though, because everybody grew up with like the red sausage, like in, you know, it's in the, the red water, you want all of your pickled things to look red. <laughs> Ew. It looks like a hot dog. It does look like a hot dog, but harder. It's like, oh my gosh, like you could play the drums with this thing. I don't think it's going to have the, the snap. No snap. That you want. More like the break off. No. Oh my, there we go. There you go. Wow. It smells like vinegar. It does smell like vinegar. Want to dink it? Dink. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just don't like this. It's the vinegar taste. I love vinegar. I love anything pickled. We had those, um, the pickled eggs did not like them in the red dye mm -hmm. pickled stuff. But the pickled quail eggs? Yeah. Love them. I think it's, Woo. I don't like the chemical that they're pickling it in. It's but it's very, not bad. It's not bad. It's, I wouldn't buy these though. I probably wouldn't buy these just because... Um, the hot dog doesn't, I would almost like to dip a regular hot dog in this sauce. Maybe that's it. Mm-hmm. Because I do like vinegar. There's a spice to it, too. Paprika. Not I, bad. Just, I don't like the pickled, whatever kind of vinegar they're using, not good. It's like, it's old. It tastes old. I know, I mean, it's pickled, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like fresh vinegar. It's got like a tang to it that I really just cannot put my finger on how to describe that tang of this vinegar compared to like a normal pickled thing. I don't know if this would work, but you know what I want to do with this? I want to dice it up and put it on the Blackstone with some cabbage and see if you would be able to transfer it over and okay. cook that cabbage in it. Yeah. Because I think that would be kind of tasty. Okay. We're gonna go to the treetop rope bridges and check out the entire park, and then we'll come back later to have our third thing. Should we throw the eggs off the top of that bridge on people? No, we're gonna eat those for dinner. I'm gonna chop them up and mix them inside of your ground beef. No. Can I sit near you? Taken. You mean taken? No, I saved it for you. you or the giant black snake that just uh, went past our chairs. We just got back from our bike ride. Why do you get the one with the table? Because I'm awesome. I mean, I have a table, but then I'd have to sit far away from you. I guess I'll just put Aww. it over here on the cooler. Yeah. Okay, ready for... We're going to do two more things for this episode of Fear Factor. Got to be better than the eggs. The eggs weren't that bad. They weren't that good either. They were a lot better than the first set of pickled eggs we tried. Those things were just horrible. Are, do you really think that those eggs were better than the pickled the eggs? The red ones from Walmart? Oh. Yes. I would much rather have the red I'd ones I'd rather from Walmart. eat the century old eggs. So for those of you who have had both, let us know down in the comment section. Okay, are you ready? Here's what we got. I'm still reeling from that crazy statement. We've got two things. This one was sent by a subscriber. This is... Beardel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Beardel. Made in France, finest quality butter. Ooh. It is not refrigerated. I'm excited. Butter doesn't have to be refrigerated. Especially only if it's salted, though. Not if it's unsalted. If it's unsalted, you have to refrigerate it. So this is just pasteurized butter. There's a little sticker over it, but let's see. One tablespoon, there's 18 servings that I can't get the sticker off. So I don't know how many calories there is, but I'm assuming it's a hundred. Probably butter. That's that's like, that's like about, no, you'll never get that sticker off. Then we have something that we picked up at Publix. This is not shelf stable and I don't think we should have to eat it. We're eating it anyway. John Taylor's original Taylor pork roll. No, except no exceptions. <laughs> is there, is there somebody that's like trying to say that, trying to maintain that they're the original pork roll? Which one are we trying first? I say pork roll and get it over with. Pork and roll and get it first. Always finish with butter. Always finish with butter. Okay. 
Now, if you guys are enjoying this content, before we actually try this Taylor pork roll, do us a favor, take a quick second, hit the like button on this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell button so that you're notified every time we make Rachel eat century old eggs. Hopefully that was the last time. I feel like people are gonna find worse. Worse than that? There's a address down below. Anything you send us, we have to eat. I don't think that's that, the rule. I don't think that there's anything that they're gonna find that's smellier than that. I don't know. Okay, are you ready? So no. this is what it looks like. Let's not eat this. Okay, should, do you wanna go over the ingredients? Oh sure, let me see what's inside Where of Where are a, the ingredients? In Wait, there's roll. no ingredients listed. Are you kidding? Are there? Are there serious? Oh, here there they are. Is. They're on the front. There you go. The ingredients are pork. One would hope so. I would hope so. Salt, sugar, spices, lactic acid, starter culture, sodium ascorbate, sodium nitrate, and then sodium nitrate, in case you didn't hear it the first time. There are approximately it's simply lunch meat. eight slices. I love the packaging that looks like it wandered out of an old Doris Day Cary Grant movie. Okay, so is here's, that retro or this what? This is kind of funny. There's eight slices. It looks very anemic. Okay, there's eight slices, but take a look at the serving size, because you didn't go over that. But look at the serving size. Serving size is three slices. So why aren't you giving me nine slices? Give me six slices or give me nine slices, Taylor. But why are you giving me eight slices? Somebody's not getting a complete serving. Poor thing. I don't. I. I. I want to go ahead and volunteer my complete serving to you, sir. No, because I got news for you. You're going to eat this twice because you're going to have the butter once and then you're going to put the butter on top of it because you have to put the butter on something and we don't have bread. Oh, man. So how about some cauliflower rice? Three slices is 200 calories. There is 18 grams of fat, one total carbohydrate and 10 grams of protein. And one gram of sugar. So the sugar yeah. is probably from whatever they're using to make it. Most of these lunch meats it's gotta get. have sugar in them. It smells like bologna. Yeah, but bologna is lips and buttholes. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so this is a funny taste. It's got a nice tart vinegary taste, but that probably you're comfortable with, not like the vinegar from no. the sausage earlier. It's got a very like thick mouthfeel, right? Like, you know, you're eating something. I'll tell you what it tastes like. It's not ham and it's not bologna. I'll tell you what it tastes like. It's almost like the ham that they put on an egg McMuffin. Yes like Canadian bacon, Canadian bacon, something that you would try to pass off as like, quick. honestly, if I was going to make an egg McMuffin, but obviously without a muffin, because we're keto, buy this. And it was pretty cheap. Do you remember how much it was? It was like a couple of bucks. $3. I'm impressed. This is pretty good. The only thing is, this is perishable. It's not going to last through a zombie I understand that, but it's apocalypse. different. I don't know if this is local though. This may be a local product. We found it here at the park. Since 1856. Wow. Made in New Jersey. So it's not local. But we've never seen it before. Nope. Are you ready? This is good. Look, we ate the whole thing. I highly recommend visiting the local grocery store wherever you're staying. We found all kinds of cool things. There's always something new. Even if it's like you have a Publix, they're going to have different things there that they have at your Publix. I love it. That's a, that's a good find. Ooh. Smells like popcorn butter oh wow is that like a decadent looking color wow that is okay yellow so i'm i didn't bring a spoon i brought a knife so we have two options we can lick it off of the knife or I can we do can that. use our finger and just eat it that way i say use the knife you've got some coming out the side there don't want to lose any butter don't cut your tongue Wow. It almost it's tastes a little grainy. Pretend. Right? Wow. What have they added to it? Do they have it's like butter. ingredients? It says they butter and salt. That's all they says on there. So the ingredients in this are that is rich. Butter, which is milk, UE origin, and salt, three percent. Wow. 
That is rich like ghee. Used by March 15th, 2021. That is. It is. It's like, it's like ghee and ghee can be a little grainy. That is going to taste delicious on the Blackstone, right? Oh yeah. That when you like cook our hamburgers on that tonight, that's going to be delicious. This does not make me upset at all. This is a very nice way to round out Fear Factor. Delicious. Oh my God, that is amazing. Did that pork roll with that butter on it. Delicious. Cause it's thick. It's almost thick like a slice of bread. It really is. Wow. We should put this on the century old eggs. Nothing's gonna save those guys. <laughs> Nothing. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor, episode six. I feel like we've got a tailor-made lunch meat for us. Definitely something we're gonna eat in the future. Yep. I would eat Hot Mamas again. Yeah, I and wouldn't. And I would definitely order this butter. This butter is good, the tailor is good. Didn't really like the sausages. The eggs weren't bad, but I would not. I honestly wouldn't buy them, but I would eat them in a zombie apocalypse. No, I'm gonna die first. If you like seeing videos like this, check out our complete Keto Camping Fear Factor, pl Factor playlist, which you're gonna find right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, that way every single time we eat something that's 100 years or older, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.